Hey, this is Nuno Betancourt here from Extreme and uh, Generation X once in a while. I'm here at the Music Zoo, the famous Music Zoo. We've been selling uh, N4s and my guitars for many, many years and uh, thank him from that, of course. I'm actually sitting here today with, uh, I believe this is the Relic N4. But uh, just to tell you a little bit about, man, this is almost, what, 30 years of this. And uh, I've always been using the same guitar for a reason. And um, simple reasons, I guess, but it's always been kind of like uh, my workhorse, you know, the one that always, uh, that old baseball glove that you pick up, that you touch, that just plays for you this, every time the way you want it to be played. And uh, it's interesting being on a tour with uh, guys like Steve Vai and Tosin Abasi and Ingve, they've all played my guitar, which is really cool. We've all tried each other's guitars, and I think they think mine's their favorite. So I think I'm, I'm going to say that now, anyway, since nobody's here to to say otherwise. But they all dig the guitar as well. And uh, you know, this guitar came out of um, out of uh, being a tad poor, actually. And when I was much younger, I'd go into music stores, and I couldn't afford playing uh, some of the high-end guitars. I mean, I'd play them in the stores, but I couldn't afford to buy them. So I I bought a bunch of parts back in the day and, uh, and took it to a friend of mine who had a guitar shop. And I had him cut the body down uh, for my size. I liked it a bit smaller. Um, had him do the neck the way I wanted. And, um, and at the time, and I think it was the biggest blessing, was uh, the only pickup they had in stock at the time was a Bill Lawrence. And uh, I thought, oh, man, I don't know if I, you know, I felt kind of bummed, like a little bit of that... Uh, the, the stepchild there thinking about it, that it was a blade and it wasn't like a classic uh, pickup. And ever since I was able to afford another pickup, even when I had Washburn make this model for me, I tried every other pickup I could uh, that they wanted to give me and nothing, nothing sounded like this pickup on this guitar to me. It still doesn't. As a matter of fact, when I asked them to put it on the model, they said they couldn't because Bill Lawrence had gone out of business. And, uh, and I said, well, why don't we put him back in business? And they said, I don't know if we can do that. So they called Bill Lawrence, and uh, the rest is the history, man. He, uh, he reopened his doors, making these pickups for me and for the guitars, and been making them ever since. And uh, I, I can't play any other pickup, to be honest with you. So that's part of the N4 experience for me. And one of the other biggest thing, I think, at the time was the uh, Stevens cutaway. Um, if you look here in the back, as opposed to where all the bolts but traditionally on a guitar, it always made it very difficult to go up and play the higher stuff. And this cutaway, this shark fin here, made it possible for your thumb to go back and to get back in here. And, uh, you know, I forget that this is on only on the N4s, you know. As, um, I forget how, uh, how incredible it is to be able to get your thumb back there and to play all the stuff that I do play. So, I mean, besides that, I moved the uh, toggle switch down here for a reason because, A, Tone controls and switches were always getting in the way for me because I, I strum a lot. You know, I play really hard a lot. Um, so I wanted to put it somewhere where uh, in stride, if I'm playing a solo, if I'm playing a chord, I can just play in stride up here and nobody would even notice that I'm changing pickups. Um, besides that, out of the drop, you know, the EVH, the, uh, the, uh, the drop here, you know, the drop D so uh, I can on the fly as well or during, during songs I can pop it down. I think it's... Probably one of the few that, I, that I've tried that I love. And, um, man, no tone control. I think that's about it. For you guys who like Jeff Beck, that's probably a bummer. There's no tone control. <laughs> but who needs it? Do it with your fingers. Um, try to think if there's anything else I'm missing here other than it's a Floyd, obviously. Um, on some of my guitars, I got it floating. On some of them, I block it, depending on, uh, on, uh, on how I'm feeling. And... Um, I think that's it, man. I, you know, it, the, the, the greatest thing I can say about this guitar and the most honest thing I can say about this guitar is that I told Washburn that I want to be able to walk into a place like the Music Zoo if, say, the truck disappeared and all my guitars got stolen. The idea is to be able to walk into to the Music Zoo and grab a guitar off the stand and be able to go straight back to the gig and play it as if it's one of my own. And uh, other than setting up a bit of the action, it should play exactly like mine. I've always frowned upon, you know, guitarists that I know that I won't mention any names who have models and they say, what are you kidding me? That's not really the actual one that's in the store. And it bothers me because it says it's a signature. So for me, I said, it's got to play like that. It's got to play like my signature. And, um, you know, the, the, 
the greatest thing I can say about this guitar is that there was a, a block of about four years where I can actually honestly say that I was no longer an endorsee of Washburn. There was a period there that I stopped. The good news was is I still kept playing the guitar. So I don't play because, you know, I didn't go to Washburn to be an endorsee. You know, they came to me and, they, and I ended up making my model. And uh, regardless if I was with them or not, which I'm glad I am, it's been many years, it's been decades, uh, I'd still play the same guitar. I mean, I don't, think in, I don't know if many people can say that about their signature models, that they'd play it regardless if that name was on there or not. So this is a lot about how I feel about this guitar. Well, thanks for hanging out with me for a bit. I hope you uh, dig the N4 if you play it. And uh, if you definitely want to buy I want to pick one up, go to themusiczoo.com. I'll be there. See ya.